Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at what is deemed the five best quarterbacks in the Ravens franchise history. Now, I came across this article in um, my little article feeds or whatever. And it's from um, the website is Give Me Sport. The actual author is Mike Thomas. And he says, ranking the top five Baltimore quarterbacks of all time. So what I want to do is just go through this list and see if you guys agree or disagree with his ranking. And I'll put, you know, whether I agree or disagree with it, you know, at the end of the video. So let's start off real quick. Not going to hold you long. Number five, he has Kyle Bowler. And I'll give you some numbers for Kyle Bowler. It says, if you didn't know, the all-time Ravens passing leader after Joe Flacco and Lamar Jackson is probably it's Kyle Bowler. Uh, Bowler played the first five seasons of his eight-year career with the Ravens, who selected him in the first round of the 2023 draft with the 19th overall pick. As a rookie, the Cal product made nine starts and went five and four. And in his second season, he started all 16 games with the Ravens, helping them to a 9-7 and seven mark, throwing for a career-high 2,559 passing yards and adding a career-best 13 touchdowns. Now, his overall Ravens stats, he played five seasons with the with the team. He started 42 games. He was 20 and 22 in those games. He started 56.9% completion percentage, total yard, total passing yards, 7,846, passing TDs, 45, interceptions, 44. So it pretty much even all the way across the board. Um, almost even record, almost even touchdown to um, interception ratio, and right just under 8,000 yards as a Baltimore Raven. So let's go to number four on the list. Excuse me. Number four on the list, Trent Dilfer. Say so Trent Dilfer helped turn around the Ravens in 2000 and led them to a Super Bowl title. Um, I can't tell you that because that's going to give it away. Let me go down some. Uh, Dilfer started just eight regular season games in Baltimore after spending the first six seasons of his NFL career with the Tampa Bay Bucks. After those six seasons of Tampa Bay, where he finished with a career record of 38 and 38, he signed with the Ravens as a backup to Tony Banks. And if you remember throughout that season, Tony Banks was a starter. Dilfer took took the starting job about maybe halfway through the season, something like that, and then went on to lead the Ravens to Super Bowl. I mean, it basically just don't turn the ball over. Don't turn the ball over. Defense going to do what they do. Get us 7 to 10 points, the defense got you. But in his one season with the Ravens, Started eight games, record seven and one. Uh, completion percentage, 59%. Passed for 1,500 yards. Had 12 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, and a passer rating of 76.6. So he was only there that one season. And because they won the Super Bowl, he made the list at number four. <laughs> All right, number three. Now, I will say this about number three. Number three is, is part of the reason I'm a Ravens fan to this day. This is uh, by far my favorite football player. Um, he's the reason I wore this number throughout, you know, high school. And we actually went to the same college. I went there for a master's degree. Uh, he went there undergrad and set a bunch of records, finished second in the Heisman vote, and I think to Rashawn Salam, and it's Steve McNair. Uh, Steve played just two seasons with the Ravens, but led the Ravens uh, to a division title in 2006. Now, we already know who one and two are. You just got to figure out the order. One and two is, is Lamar and Flacco, but I ain't said which order yet. Um, after Flacco and Jackson, Baltimore's list thins out pretty quickly. This isn't to say that Steve McNair wasn't a great quarterback, but he only played two seasons with the Ravens, and he ended up number three on this list. After a stellar career with the Houston Oilers, then moved to Tennessee Titans, McNair took on the Ravens. Uh, and came to the Ravens in 2006. He started all 16 games and got the Ravens to a 13 and three record and an AFC North title in that first year. Uh, his two seasons with Baltimore, he started all 16 games the first year. Second season, he didn't. But overall, he start, played 22 games. He started all 22. His record in those games was 15 and seven. Uh, completion percentage 63.3. Passing yards is 4163. So 4163, 18 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. So nobody of so three, four, or five didn't really like blow the stats out the water. They just regular guys, like see, Dilfer played one year, McNair played two years. Uh who else who was this at the bottom? 
They had a longer tenure than both of them put together. Kyle Bowler. All right, but let's go to number two on this list. Now, keep in mind, this is their list, not mine. I give you mine on the back end. Number two, Freaky L. They got Lamar Jackson as number two. Since they got Lamar at number two, you already know who's at number one, so I'll go ahead and read it. It shouldn't take long for Lamar Jackson to climb to number one on the all-time list of greatest Ravens QBs. I agree with that if he's not already there. Uh, but for now, he's an extremely close second. A big part of Jackson's success is that he's only been in the league for six seasons, and another reason is his lack of playoff success. Jackson is an outstanding dual threat quarterback, which we all know, one of the most exciting players in the NFL, uh, which the schedule has shown that because of a lot of the primetime games we got now. Uh, Jackson won, his, won the first of his two MVPs in just his second season in the NFL in 2019, and he also won it again last year. Both should have been unanimous, but I digress. The Ravens selected Jackson with the final pick of the first round in 2018 NFL Draft. Um, he, and following his seven starts as a rookie, the Louisville alum became the unquestionable start in 2019 and led Baltimore to a 13-2 record, leading the NFL with 36 passing TDs and throwing for 3,127 yards. He also did a bunch of damage on the run, uh, rushing for 1,200, a little over 1,200 yards and seven touchdowns. Now, Lamar's stats for his six seasons, uh, 86 games played, started in 77 of them. Record, 58 and 19. 58 and 19. Completion percentage, 64.5. He has 15,887 passing yards so far. 125 touchdowns, 45 interceptions. That's, this is the first gap we've seen in um, touchdown and interception ratio. Every The three other quarterbacks were close, right around 50%, maybe a little lower. But this is the first time we have a huge positive gap. And, and touchdown to interception ratio with a Baltimore quarterback. And then number one on their list, is Joe Flacco. Uh, Joe Flacco's career with the Ravens was highlighted by his MVP, MVP performance in Super Bowl 47. And not just in that, that game, that whole playoff run, Joe was immaculate. Like, like he couldn't do wrong. Couldn't do wrong. And it says, no, Joe doesn't have an NFL MVP in this trophy case. Truth be told, he didn't even have a Pro Bowl season during his 11 years as a start in Baltimore. He does, however, own a Super Bowl ring and was a player who came up big when it counted. That he did. That playoff run, again, was, was nuts. The Ravens selected the Delaware star with the 18th overall pick in the first round in 2008. So Joe was drafted in 2008. Lamar came 10 years later in 2018. Uh, he wasted no time making an impression. As a rookie, Flacco started all 16 games and led the Ravens to an 11-5 record. He then led a led the team to a berth in the FC Championship game after becoming the first rookie quarterback to win his post, first postseason start. On the road, defeating the Miami Dolphins in the wild card game. So as a rookie, made the playoffs, went on the road, won that game. He was the first one to do that. Uh, Flacco was tough and durable as they come. He started 16 games in each of his first seven seasons and nine in his first 10. He never had a losing record during those first seven seasons. Yeah, but we know what happened after the Super Bowl. It kind of... Well, that's right for me, so... Went left. <laughs> uh, now, Joe Flacco stats, 11 seasons, 163 games played, 163 games started. Record, 96 and 67. 96 and 67. So, wait a minute. He played 11. He was on 96. So, how many Lamar got already? Lamar got 58. 58. So, he got a ways to go to catch up with Flacco. Um, that was a record. 96 and 67. Completion percentage, 61.7. Passing yards, 38,245. And this is the second time we're going to see a like a, a huge distance between touchdowns and interceptions. 212 touchdowns to 136 interceptions with an 84.1% passer rate. So according to this article by Mike Thomas, ranking the top five Baltimore quarterbacks of all time, he has Joe Flacco at one, Lamar Jackson at two, Steve McNair at three, Trent Dilfer at four, and Kyle Bowler at five. Me personally, I'll go Bowler, Dilfer, starting from the back. Bowler five, Dilfer four, McNair three. I'm going to go Joe two and Lamar one. But you can kind of flip-flop either way because I, I understand the argument for both because Joe has a touch, uh, not a touchdown. <laughs> Joe has a Super Bowl, Lamar don't. On the other hand, Lamar has MVPs and Joe don't. So you can kind of flip-flop. I personally think Lamar is going to be better. Uh, Lamar is the best quarterback because he's still got 
years to go. And Joe's pretty much done. I think I think he's gonna catch all Joe records if he stay with the team. If he if he do them same eleven years that Joe got, I think he's gonna break all the Joe records. And then some. All right, but this is Coach Evans coming to you with a little article that I saw. I want to share it with you guys. Uh, put your thoughts in the comments and put your top five Ravens quarterback in the comments also so I can see what you guys think.